Truth is, the Pope loves a joke, and His Holiness has a devilish wit. You can see it in his eyes after the gotcha punchline, and the mightier the audience, the sweeter the punch. Two weeks ago, after meeting the Pope for the first time, President Obama spoke with us at the U.S. Ambassador's residence in Rome. He told us that Francis joked that for two men of great power, it was really young people who ordered them around. Can you give me a sense of what it's like to be in the presence of Pope Francis? He's a wonderful man. He projects the kind of humility and kindness that is consistent with um, my understanding, at least, of, of Jesus' teachings, his simplicity and his uh, belief in the power of uh, the spiritual over the material uh, uh, reflects itself in, in uh, everything that uh, he, he says and does. And I, I suspect, my sense is, is that he's um, a little bit uncomfortable with all the trappings of, of being pope. Uh, Embarrassed by them. Well, you know, that's not his style. Uh, and that is part of why I, I think he has been uh, so embraced uh, around the world, uh, because people get a sense that first and foremost he sees himself as, uh, as, as a priest and as a disciple of Christ and as somebody who is concerned with, uh, you know, the least of these. What did the Pope say to you in that meeting that inspired you? We spent uh, a, a bulk of our conversation uh, around uh, issues of poverty and inequality, themes that he's been talking about quite a bit, and obviously issues that I care about deeply. The very poor finding fewer and fewer ladders to uh, get into the middle class, youth unemployment high. Uh, you know, these are chronic problems. What the Pope's able to do in a way that no politician to do is to uh, shake people's conscience and to shine a light on the problem. It's, it's our job to come up with policies to do something. What the Pope can do is to help uh, mobilize public opinion. But how practical is that? Stalin once said of the power of the papacy, how many divisions does the Pope have? I'm a big believer in the power of conscience, the power of faith, the power of a message of hope. Uh, I think over time that's what moves history. Uh, tanks and divisions and uh, dollars and sense, uh, you know, all those things obviously make a difference. Uh, but ideas are, are, are the most powerful thing on earth.